hi everyone so valentine's day is coming up and i wanted to create a gorgeous nail design just for you guys so make sure you let me know in the comments which finger you like the best and keep on watching so these are the nails we are doing today I'm starting off using my favorite cuticle bit and this is going to push back the cuticles as well as get rid of any of that dead skin around the cuticle area. There's so many different cuticle bits that you can buy so I would definitely recommend trying a few of them to see which one works for you the best. Next step we are just lightly going over the natural nail just to remove any of the shine as well as any of that dead skin that we had missed during our cuticle preparation. It's now time for us to size our tips. Just making sure that they sit perfectly from sidewall to sidewall. This one is too small, we'll have to go a bigger size. After that, I just prepped the tips with the tip primer. Then we can go ahead and put our dehydrator on our natural nails, as well as our primer. Now I'm just putting a thin coat of my Extend Gel and then once we've done all five fingers or we'll put it in the lamp for 30 seconds. I have a strong lamp so 30 seconds is all it needs. So now just placing a little bit of my Extend Gel on the nail tip and then applying it to the nail on an angle. Once I've done that I will then put them in my LED lamp for a full 60 seconds. This will make sure that they're properly cured. Okay, so once that's done, I always recommend to buff off the shine. And this is going to help your polish adhere to the nail a lot better, as well as prevent any peeling on the edges. And then don't forget to remove any of the dust. So now that it's time to decorate our nails, I'm starting this nail off with just a top coat because I want to stick these gorgeous pink and red love hearts on for Valentine's Day. Now I don't want this look to look chunky, so I'm keeping my glitter towards the middle and then filling the gaps with the small glitter. And then I turned the nail around and did the inside just for it to create a more full look. And then I just finished it with a matte top coat and it turned out so gorgeous. Moving on to the next nail, I just did a nude base and I did two coats of this and cured them both in the lamp for 30 seconds. So to keep in with the theme, we're doing a pink French nail on this with some beautiful little red love hearts and some red bling, of course. This is a very easy way to do your little love hearts is using your dotting tool first to create dots and then just bringing them in into a point.
so for this nail I am starting off with a matte top coat and I'll just put that in the lamp to cure and then I wanted to draw some lips on it and then before we cure the lips in place we want to put some glitter on the lips so that the glitter sets into the gel while it's curing They turned out so beautiful and I thought this nail needed just a little extra something so I just put a X and an O and I thought it just made the design complete. So for this nail I just wanted to do like a full bling nail um, and so I went in with a pink base and then once I did that I cured it and then I just put a glitter on so I've told you guys this in the past putting a glitter on underneath your crystal nail designs is going to make your designs look so much more full and complete. So for the last finger I didn't actually get to film it but I just did some roses and it just tied in all the designs together. So the roses were just pink, um, red and light pink and some white. So here's the completed design, let me know what you guys think in the comments.